to the tape. Let's dive into the tape. Mike Rupp with a yogger like salute. Roll the tape. Rupp with a shot. He's got two goals for Mike Rupp. Look at him go. Tape to tape. Let's diggity dive right into the tape. All right, Hartie. Uh, I hate that number. No, sorry, I hate that intro. That the intro stinks. <laughs> that, <laughs> intro, <laughs> that intro stinks. Hey, me. we should add in the intro. You coming up to me, tell me what Bush League it was doing <laughs> it, it uh, when we were going off for intermission. But anyways, uh, it, we uh, I was last night on NHL Network. We yep. had the game Tampa Bay versus the Ottawa Senators. And I was working it, so this was a little easier. It was fresh in my mind. I saw this play happen with Tim Stutzla. I just want to start with this though, and we're kind of saying it off camera, and and. We both had Torts as a coach, and Torts brought, would always use the word arrogant or arrogance yep. and talk about players. He'd use it in a positive way. That's usually like a negative thing, right? Like it was if a player was arrogant, that means he's selfish or this. No, no. Arrogant to carry yourself or, or have some extra, arrogance. Extra could be confidence. Very confident, right? And that's what Tim Stutzel. I talked to him earlier this year, and I, I uh, up in Ottawa, I was, I was doing one of the Penguin games, and I was talking to him, and I'm like, I love this kid's demeanor, like just like a gamer. And, and, you know, from playing with superstars, like those guys have that, right? Yep. And he has it. And here's some moves he's made uh, made in that game last night. We know how good he is and talented he is. But these these kind of show the 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 gumption he has, the swagger the he has, the <laughs> arrogance he has. And it's the same move he used twice. So we'll just get to it right now and we'll jump in here at any point and we'll we'll point out what he's doing. Just uh, the way he kind of uh, this is the first one here. And get a pause right there. Bring it back a little bit before he gets to the wall. So we're gonna have Timmy Stutzler down here, right? Yep. So you're gonna have him angled and go forward slowly here. And Right about here, we get a pause. So in, in theory, I'm watching this, I'm like, okay, good little angle, try to cut him off, right? Uh, this is the part where, hey, you, you mentioned about Kucherov before. A little back pressure here. You got <laughs> you got to give back pressure Eliminate for this, this kid. Eliminate this play right here. Yeah, so he's sitting there, uh, the defenseman's like, all right, I'm, I'm fortunate you here, you just need a little bit of back pressure. When you don't apply that back pressure, Timmy Stutzler will eat you alive. And watch what he ends up doing here. Go slow through this, kind of just drag steps to the middle. This isn't even the move I'm talking about. This is just another one. This is the move I'm talking about. Coming in here, and now we're gonna get a pause right here. So Timmy Stutzler comes in there, you got a pass option back door, right? But you got a defenseman here that's taken away that low ice, and his job is literally, uh, you're not gonna make that pass. But Stutzla is trying, he's gonna drag this. And there's two different ways, and Hartz, you and I were talking about it, right? Like, yep. you can, you see some guys tow it and pull it, but he does like a backhand pull around the sliding defenseman and makes a beautiful shot past Andre Vasilevsky. We could just roll it forward here. Pulls it, shot, and we'll just go through replays. And, and, and you brought up a great point on this. Yeah, and, and right here, he brings it on his back end right there, and it kind of gives him in a better angle to shoot that puck, and, and the threat to pass back door is there. So Vasilevsky doesn't really know which way he's going, so he's frozen. Yeah. And he just picks that low blocker as well, but the backhand toe drag, and, and this is in the off or def defensive zone now, Rubber. Yeah, yeah, so now we got defensive zone. You got a block shot by Matthew Joseph. Same play is going to happen here. Kucherov. <laughs> Kucherov again there. And uh, Matthew Joseph, who also is incredible in this game, by the way. And then we're going to get a pause right here. Pause it there. So Timmy Stutzel is going to grab the puck here. Block shot by Matthew Joseph. Eyes up ice. He's looking. He looks like Superman right there with laser eyes. But he's going to be looking up ice here. And all he's going to do is that same move, right? The same one we just talked about. He's going to take it on his forehand. He's going to go backhand, pull, and get a different passing angle. And go forward slowly. And he's going to... And get a pause right here. So the pass is going to end up going here, right? But he's got to pull it first. You're going to watch him. He's going to just grab this puck and just kind of step around here and get that shoot, uh, that passing lane. And I, and I love this because this is confidence. You're doing your D zone, man. This kid, we talk about arrogance. Like you're in your defensive zone here. Roll forward slowly. He's going to backhand, or he's gonna, that time he doesn't backhand. He kind of pulls it back, zips it up to Claude Giroux and then gets going the other way. So I just love the way he changes his angle. We talk about Austin Matthews changing the angles, shooters changing the angles. You can change the angle on a pass as well. And some would say this is high risk, but if he if he does the toe drag one at high speed, it's a little bit more dangerous. He does the backhand, bring it in, change the angle of that pass. You have a wide open yeah. passing lane uh, to Claude Giroux. Beautiful pass over uh, to Joseph, and that's, uh, I think it was the second of the night. There. Yeah, that was yeah, it was, it was nice. Uh, bring this one back to that last angle, because uh, it shows a little bit better that kind of the same move. Bring it all the way back to right right here. All right, so this is what we're talking about. So we already located, he's, he sees the pass he wants, and it's almost like the Tampa players just 
in the way. And he's just gonna find a way to get it around him. And watch right here, real closely. Roll forward slowly. He's gonna grab it here. And now he's gonna go backhand, pulls it back, and slides it over. And that's gonna get past Kucherov and zip it by. So I, I love it, and we talked about it before. Maybe you can zoom out now on us and uh, how we're talking about, you know, you could toe drag it, but toe drags, I find, I didn't do that. Like, well, I didn't toe drag either, quite frankly. But I didn't I didn't do like that backhand pull. Yeah. We see a lot of guys do that now. I mean, guys have done it before, but I see more and more do it. And I, I really like it because if you're gonna do a toe drag, you can do this and pull it, but look how much, how little of my stick is on the ice, right? But if you could just go backhand and pull, and you're also protecting from, you know, a stray stick just kind of coming here for a poke check. And a lot of people, a lot of guys are u using this move on a on a two-on-one where the defensive sl uh, slides and goes against you, and they just bring it bring it back like this. Way easier to do this than that as well. And then the defenseman just slides out of the way, and and you almost have a breakaway yeah. or a pass back door. So pretty pretty incredible the 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 new wave of these guys learning different skills and, and then doing them at a high rate of speed, right? To, the, it's just kind of second nature. You're not real, oh, should I toe drag here? No, I'm gonna do the backhand one, pass yeah. up the ice, boom, it's in the net. So it's, it's incredible how quickly they can do it and just kind of being innovative on, on learning different ways to kind of stick handle. Yeah, and, and you mentioned it too, even for the, the, the one on the shot and the goal. Like, if pulling it, you, can, you pull it in shooting range too, but when you're going backhand, it's just, you. you you're not selling either, either, right? Like the goalie, and you mentioned Vassy on that one, I think it freezes them. Because you're sitting here, if, if I'm pulling it, you know at some point my shot, I'm gonna have to move my hand or I'm gonna have yeah. to lean into it. When, you pull, when you're pulling backhand like this, it's just, all you can still make a pass here, you can do a lot of different options. So Timmy Stutzla, I thought played awesome in that game. That was a, uh, a gutsy performance, I think. Uh, Ottawa Senators have been playing better, but this kid's a superstar in, in the making. I think we're seeing that. Yeah, well, big two points lost by Tampa Bay, right? Yeah. They're fighting for their playoff hopes and dreams, right? And, and Ottawa, uh, just kind of a, a bad season, underrated season, uh, you know, not getting the wins and all that kind of stuff. But they've been, they've been playing a little bit late, uh, better lately. And against Tampa Bay, they, they made them look a little silly. A little well. bit. A little bit. So it's Timmy Stutzla, arrogance, good arrogance. We love it. We want to see more of it.